Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's not spooky, but it's Goose Island and it's local, so we're going to dive into the Goose Island Beer Hug Mixed Twelver. It's 12, 12 ounce cans. We have Tropical Beer Hug. Imperial IPA, Neon Beer Hug IPA, and let's backtrack. The Tropical Beer Hug Imperial IPA comes in at 9.98 ABV, and the Neon Beer Hug comes in at 7.0% ABV. That's a regular IPA. And then we have the Hazy. IPA, the Hazy Beer Hug, that comes in at 6.8% alcohol by volume, and the Secret Beer Hug Hazy IPA, 6.5% alcohol by volume, and it's secret number one. Hmm, so that means, I guess, if you get this, you get the secret flavor, and you don't know what it is, and apparently there's going to be more than one, because this one's number one. So, it was a crazy day at work, and I'm going to for something crazy. And it looks like we might have, hmm, let's see, let's see the neon or the secret. I want the secret one. Oh, yes, we have. Secret beer hug, number one. Born in Chicago, 1988, secret classified umbrella drinks in a can you have oh umbrella drinks in a can so that's the hint for secret flavor number one and we're going to think from here on out when if I can remember we will use the Goose Island beer blast that I got at St. Vinny's for the Goose Island beer and we'll use it for other beers as well but I'll try to make it more or less Goose Island specific. Let's get into the pour here. Look at that lovely color. Just a nice small head. And it's nice, it is nice and hazy. Strong hops. All I can smell is the perfume I put on this morning. Hmm. It tastes fruity. Spicy. And I'm not sure how it compares to an umbrella drink. Because I haven't had an umbrella drink in a while. It's got some citrusy notes to it. Not orange. Mm. Tangerine, maybe? Maybe mango? Hmm. And again, this one comes in at 6.5% ABV. Ah, 
tasting a little bit of pineapple now. Hmm. So definitely has some pineapple notes to it. I was thinking mango, but after I warmed up in my mouth, it's more pineapple. On the back end. Hmm. Possibly some, maybe some mango, maybe, maybe orange a bit maybe like a mandarin, <clears throat> mandarin orange perhaps because it's not it's a sweeter orange it's not as tart as a juice orange so I'm pegging possibly tangerine maybe a little bit of mango with pineapple on the back end It's definitely very, very bright, very summery. Very, it is like a it is like a tropical drink. And again, pardon my face. I put sunscreen on. Apparently, I need more. I need to slather on the 100 SPF a little bit thicker and stop being cheap with it. of orange, bit of mango, with uh, pineapple on the back side. This will go perfect with the dinner, which reminds me, I need to start dinner. Um, I'm having, I've got plenty of stuff, well, plenty of stuff for a couple weeks in the fridge, but I was in the mood for something I didn't want to like slave over. Not that I slave in the kitchen that much anyway. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do beer battered cod and some onion rings and finish off this beer. Uh, again, do I like it? Yes. Goose Island is another one that I had never heard of until I got here. Um, it's, it's bright. It's not heavy on your mouth, not your tongue. It's not heavy, you know, not heavy in your stomach. It's very sessionable. You could drink several of these. In fact, you could probably make a flight out of these, but I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd put the beer hug in there. Well, maybe you could. You could probably maybe do a flight of these, but I would go easy on the tropical beer hug, though, because it comes in at 9.9% ABV. So you could probably, you know, you could do a mixed flight of these, or again, as I've said before, you could take this and put this in a flight with some other tropical-themed beers, have yourself a nice party with some pineapple, yeah, you could probably put some pineapple on the side of this, and an umbrella. <laughs> Again, have a pool party with your friends or a cookout. If you don't like the sun too much, make sure you have your 100 SPF and plenty of umbrellas. And your big, big wide hats. Darkly inclined people can enjoy the pool side too. We just try not to char ourselves to death. Anyway, it's a short review. Yeah. Secret beer hug number one, which means there are other secret flavors. This one said it was an umbrella drink in a can, and that's pretty much what I got from it. Hints of possibly mandarin orange and mango with a uh, heavy pineapple on the back end of it. Lightly, uh, Lightly carbonated, very bright, very sparkly, very tropical, but not heavy, very sessionable. I don't do thumbs up and I don't do scores, but this is this is good. It's um it's one of the uh, Goose Island ones I've had that doesn't have lemon. I like the lemon, but this is was a pleasant 
kind of a pleasant departure from that, so cheers. Mm. Okay. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, hit the bell. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in your inbox and stay up to date as to what random things I might do. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to do. I didn't know I was going to get this. But I just sort of decided to, and here we are. Um, you can put comments in the comment section below. Please keep them friendly. I do check the comments, and if there's anything that doesn't look right, I do delete it. And I can, all, you know, I can also put people on mute. So please play nice. I want the bath monsters, weirdos, and all y'all to play nice with each other. If I see somebody that's out of line, I will, I will mute them or block them because I want this to be a fun, dark, crazy place to be. So yeah, you can enjoy the videos and just have a good time. So, uh, again, drack responsibly. Don't drack and drive. Let the other monsters drive the hearse. Take turns. Give the des designated Dracula a turn if they want it. Uh, stay tuned for more Halloween stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna try to find. I'm gonna try and find a gothic themed cooler bag. Let's see where that goes. I love you guys. Bye now.